Hi guys, I'm gonna start this off with a rant about Dynamax. Not gonna lean against, I was leaning against the window, I felt like it was gonna pop out. I'll lean against this bar thing here. Uh, lately, anything off of Amazon that I've been ordering, like uh, using Prime, uh, has been coming either through Pure Later or a company called Dynamax. Now, if you haven't heard of Dynamax before, Dynamax is called a final mile or last mile courier. Larger companies will take parcels or packages cross borders, cross provinces, and Dynamex picks up these packages that these larger companies don't deliver to homes or to businesses or to offices. And essentially they take the last mile or the final mile and do the couriering themselves. But the thing with Dynamex is that they're, they're like the Uber of parcel delivery. Dudes in normal clothing with their own cars work for Dynamex, I have to assume that they bid, they pick up these contracts from these larger companies and they just go to houses and, and whatever and deliver it themselves. The problem is that you can never trust their shipping. And the last thing I ordered before these greenies, I actually ordered these greenies and they came in. My problem with Dynamex is the last four or five items I've ordered from Amazon, uh, some of them have come in and sat at the depots for three to five days before actually getting delivered. And you pay for Amazon Prime, but that two-day shipping, when shipped using Dynamex, uh, ends up taking three to five days. Like, I might as well not have had Amazon Prime. So now when I order stuff off Prime, like, I'm, I'm praying, I'm hoping that they get shipped using Purelater or Canada Post, but I can't pick and choose. You just get stuck with Dynamex. Okay, well, that's, that's my Dynamex rant, and I guess I'll get on with the rest of this video. Wait. Just wait. Watch me. Let's find your leash. Are you on your leash? Oh, fuck. There it is. Wait. Okay, go. Oh, no. Jump. Up. Up. Yes. Oh, no. Yuki. Now sit. Yes. Go, go. Wait. 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 Happy Thanksgiving to the six viewers who consistently watch this, this episodic weekly vlog I put up. My Thanksgiving was spent in Lac de Bonnie with Brittany's family. Oh shit, who's this black dog? Who's this black dog? You can say hi. You can say hi. You can say hi. Okay, okay. Hello. In November. Okay. Oh, my yeah, he's not friendly. He's good.
Go girl, you key. Yeah, she's just passed out now. She's just relaxing. She's relaxing. Well, whatever, we're cooking supper. It's coming. Okay. No, 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 no. You know, that's probably too much. See, and, and I was... Nikki likes the cold rocks. She like it's cold? Lost my voice. Uh, I don't know why. Am I getting a cold, maybe? I haven't been yelling. I haven't been playing any League of Legends lately recently. So could not have been yelling because of that. Oh, what else is new? I got a new SSD in the mail, a uh, crucial 480 gig. I plan to use that as my editing, uh, editing hard drive now. I'm done with discs, and I don't really want to write on my Intel SSDs because those are a little, little expensive. So I picked up the crucial 480 for, I think 170. It was on sale on Amazon via Prime. So I hope that hope that speeds up my workflow, editing these dumb videos. So I'm at the dog park solo today, just Yuki and I actually. No Brittany, no Dad. Brittany's in the middle of uh, I guess her exams are really scattered. Some of Br Brittany's in in third year nursing, third year nursing. I guess the first first semester, first term of the third year, and she's just swamped between clinical, her practicum. Uh, cl clinical slash practicum, I guess it's the same stuff. And uh, these random exams that are scattered about, she is swamped with work and super stressed. And today is Caddy's last day of uh, puppy classes, or puppy training classes. Uh, I guess he graduates next week, so maybe I'll go to that and get some, uh, get some footage of the, the dogs graduating. I don't know, he has some aggression issues still, and uh, it's not my responsibility, not my dog. Come on, Yuki, let's go, let's go. Good girl. I guess I should talk about things I'm thankful for. It is Thanksgiving, or because yesterday was Thanksgiving. Things I'm thankful for. Easy things I'm thankful for. The easy ones are family, friends, my dogs. Those are easy. Other things I'm thankful for, crosswalks. Crosswalks are great. They'll keep me safe when I cross the road. The internet, Shaw's 150, thankful for that. Pizza, thankful for pizza. Thankful for Pasta de la Piazza's pizza. Man, I should, I should show you guys that pizza one day. My coworkers and I get pizza every Thursday at this pizza place downtown. It's the best pizza uh, in the city, as per me. As per me, it's the best pizza in the city. So maybe, hey, Yugi, come on, let's go. Yugi keeps sticking her head in these holes that, that the moles or prairie dogs keep making. And I know one day one of them's gonna pop out and bite her right in the nose. And, and I'd like to avoid that. That's those are the things that I'm thankful for. Yuki. <laughs> hey, Yuki. Okay. Charles is almost three. Wow, so tiny. Yeah, that's pretty much it though for her. Yeah. Right same same with her. She's a year and two months now. Aww. Yeah. Okay, Yuki. Let's go. <laughs> Yuki, come on. Let's go. There is something satisfying about walking around with my dog in a big open field uh, off leash. There's something really lonely about walking in an empty field with my dog talking into a camera. Okay, thanks for watching.